Ice cream lovers, welcome to this session of Scoob School. Nice to have you here. Steve Christensen is my name. I will be your lecturer today, but I'm also the self-appointed headmaster down here. We are located in St. Louis, Missouri. Have a beautiful training facility here. Love for you to come and see us sometime. Anyway, welcome to this uh, video session. We're gonna be talking about extracts. Just wanna segue just a little bit. I was at a trade show last week on the West Coast, Southwest Traders. A lot of ice cream people there, a lot of viewers of the, uh, of the podcast and of the uh, YouTube channel here. So it's nice to be able to kind of meet some of the people, press the flesh as they say, and people just saying, hey, we just so much appreciate your content. So for you out there, uh, we love producing content for you. Hopefully it's very helpful. We love comments. Uh, so look, I know it's early in the relationship here in this video, but if you do want to click on the like and subscribe button down here, I think we could take our relationship to the next level. Anyway, do want to thank our episode sponsor, Green Mountain Flavors. Stan Sitton is the king of all extracts, king of flavors. They've got a great website, very unusual and unique flavors and colors, all natural. The link is right down below. It's not going to even cost you anything to click on the link. So just do it after you watch the video. Have a look at some of the stuff they've got there. We thank Stan, Laura, and all the crew up there for their episode sponsorship. Okay, so we're gonna talk extracts here. And a common question we get about extracts is how long do they last for? And can you use them after the use by date? Well, that's a great question, actually. A lot of people love extracts because of their ease of use. A lot of them come in either a gallon jug, uh, like this guy here. So this is a vanilla extract, a gallon jug. Stan sends all of his samples out uh, in a smaller container. That looks to be like a four or five, six ounce um, container. But he sells them to you in quart containers. And a lot of people love extracts because there's color, there's flavor, it's shelf stable, it just sits on a shelf, you wanna keep it out of the sunlight, don't put them in the fridge, they're really easy to use, but you'll find on some of the very unique extracts that you may go over the use by date. And when I say unique extracts, I wanna just kinda of highlight some of these here, and again, another reason for you to go to Green Mountain Flavors, hazelnut extract, uh, sweet basil extract, Whenever I think sweet basil, I think, oh, Mickey, you're so fun. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. You're so fun, you blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Uh, Tony Basil, that is. Anyway, <laughs> Irish cream, uh, pure peppermint, uh, a, a whole bunch of very, very unique colors and flavors. I'm not, this isn't a whole ad for Green Mountain flavors, but I do want to kind of address the process that most of these are going to come out with a one year or a 12 month glasses down. Boop. a 12 month use by date. Can you use an extract after the 12 months? Um, look, for the most part you can, if you've taken care of it. If you put these in the fridge, they might get some sediment in the bottom. They may kind of uh, not look as clean, maybe a little bit cloudy. But again, if you're keeping them as per the manufacturer's instructions, generally they'll last almost a lifetime. So this jug here is uh, from Lockhead Vanilla. It's a Mr. C's blend vanilla from when we first opened up our very first frozen custard shop in Albany Creek, Australia. Australia. And it has a uh, production date of January 29, 2002. So this little bad boy here is 20 years old. 20 years old, and I've got another full gallon like this. You may say, well, boy, you shouldn't be using that. It's kind of 19 years past its use by. But let me tell you that the mellow nature of something that has matured over a long time, it really rounds out the flavors. It's aged out very nicely. Now, not all extracts will be like this, but I wouldn't be overly concerned. And again, I'm gonna refer you back to the manufacturer, but look, a lot of these extracts, alcohol-based, there's no dairy in them. And so you'll find that this will be good to use long after it's used by date. Anyway, take that with a grain of salt. Again, talk to the manufacturer, but honestly, a lot of people are using vanilla extract that's 5, 10, 15, in this case, 20 years old, 
uh, and it still is very, very good. So don't throw out the extracts when they're at that one year mark. I talk to the manufacturer, you'll generally hear that, look, you know, the federal government says that we've got to cap it out a year, but honestly, there's nothing in there that's going to go bad unless you've stored it incorrectly. Interested in your comments? If you've got an extract that's older than 20 years old, I'd like to hear from you. I challenge you, as Scar said in the famous Lion King movie, is that a challenge? Uh, one of the great Lion King lines, apart from the no. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. Enough of the shenanigans. Stan from Green Mounds looking, why are we spending money sponsoring these? Uh, you wanna know why? For that kind of acting, that kind of content. His link is down below, as well as the like, click, subscribe button. And look, if you have a question, comment, concern, if you're using uh, a very old extract, we'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. We'll try and get to them all. We love your comments. We appreciate the positive feedback. We delete the negative feedback. Just jokes, we don't do that. Ding, ding. Keep on scooping. We'll see you in the next video.